Let's see if we can't supercharge your workflow using the manual dimension tool. If you have the active dimension defaults control in your toolbar, or if you don't, you can obviously add this just by customizing your toolbar and adding this. Check out my other video on customizing your toolbar. Then you can do a drop down menu and pick whatever default toolbar that you want to use at the time in this particular view. So I've got my manual dimension tool active. Here's my remodel tool. And notice I just get the drag through there and it's picking up surfaces. And if I get close to my windows, notice it picks up those windows as well. So it's a really fast and easy way of picking up exactly what I want. Now watch as I switch down to my new construction and I drag through and all of a sudden I'm dimensioning to the exterior framing and the interior framing here. So just easy as that, I can pick up exactly what I want. Here I go, I'm picking up that framing and those windows, all right? And this is just a matter of setting up your defaults in a, in a way that makes sense. Now watch as I switch to my cabinets default and this is gonna send my dimensions to a different layer that uses a different textile because I send my kitchen uh, plans at a half inch scale. So now I'm picking up just my cabinets. Now with the manual dimension tool still active, you can actually edit some of this. So I'm gonna draw back over the top of this section and remove that section. Same thing, I'm gonna draw back over the section here and remove that section. I can even go in between two points if I'd like to. So pretty cool, pretty clever how you can edit that out, right? And so let me just get back in here and I'm gonna pick up this diamond and pick up the center line of the sink here and then click on the center line extension. And in my edit toolbar, I now have this icon, mark as center line. So I can quickly mark this as a center line. Now, if I wanted to, I could also come in here and click on the add additional text and hover over one of these texts. And then I could suppress this dimension value if I wanted to and put EQ, same thing, click on that button again. Suppress that dimension value and put EQ. A number of different ways that you can on the fly use that manual dimension tool to do some pretty dynamic things. Hope that helped you out.